Hello, young astronomers. It's me, the moon, here to take you on an incredible journey through the mysterious world of black holes. Ready to dive into the cosmic wonders? Let's get started. First things first, what exactly is a black hole? Well, imagine a place in space where gravity is so strong that nothing, not even light, can escape. That's a black hole, a cosmic vacuum cleaner, if you will. The star collapses, creating a region in space where gravity is incredibly intense. There are different types of black holes. Stellar black holes are formed from collapsing stars, while supermassive black holes reside at the centers of galaxies, surrounded by millions or even billions of stars. Let's talk about their three main parts, the singularity, the event horizon, and the ergosphere. The singularity is the center of a black hole where mass is concentrated. The event horizon is like a boundary beyond which nothing can escape, not even light. And the ergosphere is a region where a black hole's rotation drags space and time along with it. So what happens if you get too close to a black hole? Well, things get pretty interesting. The intense gravity can stretch and distort objects, a process we call spaghettification. Imagine turning into a long, thin noodle. Quite a cosmic twist, isn't it? But don't worry, young astronomers, we're keeping a safe distance as we explore these fascinating phenomena. Now, here's a mind-blowing fact. Even though black holes are known for devouring everything, there's something called Hawking radiation. This is a theoretical prediction by physicist Stephen Hawking, suggesting that black holes can emit tiny particles and slowly lose mass over time. Isn't it incredible how science helps us unravel the mysteries of the universe? Well, that wraps up our cosmic journey into the world of black holes. They might be mysterious, but they're an essential part of the grand cosmic ballet. Remember, the universe is full of wonders waiting to be discovered. Until our next cosmic adventure, keep looking up, young astronomers.